centuries with one of the most radical statements ever. He says, I am it. I am the way. I am truth. I am life. I am it. I am the answer to your problems of yesterday. I am answer to the problems of your future. And I am the answer to you right now. Anyone who tries to tell you that Jesus was simply a good teacher and a wise man and a wonderful, wonderful spiritual person is lying. Amen. There you go. If he was a great teacher, he was a severely dysfunctional egomaniac that considers himself the only way to God. I am the only way to God. Most people since that day to now that declare that they are the only way to God are either ignored or locked up. Or their followers come to a tragic end in some type of cult process. Jesus is either it, past, present, and future, or he's nothing. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And this test that the Israelites had, do we believe what God says and enter into salvation? Enter into freedom, enter into life, is the same question that comes to you and I. Never before, I believe, has this been under such blatant yet subtle attack as it is under right now. Is Jesus the way to healing, the way to life, the way to fulfillment, or is he not? I want you to listen to a, a clip. We, I don't think we're going to be able to get the video. Hopefully it will come, but you'll be able to get the gist with just the audio. I want you to hear what is common, what is being said, and what is popular in our culture by one of the great movers in our culture right now. Let's roll the clip. You, spirituality, is that you are your own best authority. As you work to know and love yourself, you discover how to live a more spiritual life. The old is... God and the path to worship Him have already been defined and all you need to do is follow the directions. The new is being able to listen within for your own definition of spirituality. Your deeper longings are your compass on the search. And the old said exactly what Eckhart was saying, that there's only one path. It's the right way and all other ways are wrong. And the new spirituality says that many paths lead to spiritual freedom and peace. You have a rich array of gems from which to uh, draw illumination, the world's religious traditions, mythology, psychology, healing, methods, scientific wisdom, your own experience, and that you can begin to string a necklace all your own. And then she lists, you know, other old and new. And so it's really a question of what you were saying to us earlier, that this material strikes a chord within you, something in you opens up and wants, you know, feels alive and is awakened to that. And yet, there is uh, the ideology that says what to you? What is the conflict for you? Um, just the thoughts on the afterlife, things like that. You know, you, in a lot of books, such as Tolle, we get teachings from Buddhism or Hinduism, and those thoughts don't go along with you know what I was raised to believe as a Christian. So that been the biggest thing that I struggle with, I think. So well I am a Christian who believes that there are there are certainly many more paths to God other than Christianity. So right. I'm a free thinking Christian who believes that who believes in my way, but I don't believe that it's the only way with six billion people here on the planet. Right. Now there's so much in that. And I wish that I could join that platform because there's pieces of truth in there. There's pieces of truth that are, that are very profound. An old spirituality that's based on what someone else tells you and the authority of a, of a person, that, that's completely, that's not what spirituality is based at all. It's not based in me. It's not based in somebody else who's an authority over you. 